with week, no, I don't remember, week 37? Yes, week 37. So it's a one page layout and I decided to use the Studio Calico Carolina Moon, but the scrapbook um, kit. Um, not really impressed with the kit itself. Um, don't really like the embellishments they provided. I would have preferred to receive the documenter kit, but it's okay. At least there was a 12x12 12 12 I really loved, which is what you saw in the beginning. Um, the I guess I'm going to assume it's New York. It looks like it could be New York, but I just love the cityscape. And um, I wanted to do a theme for this layout because you will see in the photos, or you have seen in the photos, um, I'm with these guys. And um, I thought it would be really fun to do kind of like a Filipino drama kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Um, I absolutely love Korean dramas. So, oh, before I forget, I want to thank Karen because hopefully she might watch this. So Karen, if you're watching this, hi, missed you, and thank you for the photos. Love them. Because she originally had that idea um, but in a different environment and hers look a lot better than mine but I still like the photos that she took so this is the title card and of course I have to use the items that's in the kit it's a bit of a challenge but I do cheat just a little bit um, I admit I kind of like those gold chipboard thickers however they were a pain in the butt because as you will see later I did try to lift up, lift off the um, K, but the backing of it um, separated, so I decided just to glue it back on and leave it. <sighs> but the title is called Kongolaka, which means like without your presence or um, when you're not here, or I mean, it just depends on. I don't know. I'm. <laughs> I'm not very good at translating Tagalog, even though I know more Tagalog than Bisaya, which Tagalog is the national language of the Philippines. Um, however, in Cebu, majority of Filipinos there speak Bisaya. So I just decided to, the first time actually, among all my Project Life layouts, I use a Tagalog title. So really happy about that. Um, and I also will, blah, excuse me, I would also like to apologize. Um, you'll notice the speed will be very different in this video. I'll be going back and forth from like 1x to 2x to 4x. <sighs> so I don't know what happened. I guess I didn't pay attention. But I do speed this up just a little bit. And you won't be seeing me do the whole title because I know that will take a very long time. So I do do that off camera um, because, like I said, those thickers were a pain in the butt. So let's see. I guess I should talk about the guys in the pictures. Well, so the two guys that's with me is Gian and Aljun. Um, Gian is from Bohol. And I would like to thank them. I know they are watching this right now. I really want to thank you guys for giving me your permission for like short notice. Um, because I just want to show off how guapo they are. They are so good looking. In my opinion. But I'm sure um, other people will think otherwise. But I can say that they are definitely my taste. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Better not get too mushy about this. Um, I decided just to do kind of like a, a Filipino drama kind of layout. And after I was done doing the title, I do add that stamped label and decided just to write the date and the week because there's not enough room to stamp. And plus... um majority of this layout is in black and white so I don't really like no actually I don't have <laughs> I don't have a lot of colorful ink pads and plus I really want to keep more of the black and white 
So, very simple. And I like the title card. And then I will get into one of the first photos. I will be saving that 6x8. Oh, before I forget, this is my first time using a Simple Stories page protector. And there are four vertical 4x6 four and one... No, 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 no. Four horizontal 4x6 four and one vertical 6x8. So it's going to be very interesting. Um, not very traditional for me when it comes to project life. So this is the first photo and it's of me and Gian and Aljun. Gian is on the far left and Aljun is on my far right. And I decided to cut that top part because I really don't like that green in the background. I really want to keep that cityscape behind us. I really wanted to add that gold polka dot foiling with the pink, but it just doesn't show a lot of the polka dots. So I decided just to go with this hound's tooth that is not part of the kit. Um, it did come in a card set, so I just cut the back part and use that hound's tooth as our background. And I just trimmed the side and the top. And I will be using one of the two by 12 embellishments, which is that blue heart that you see on the left. And I will be writing on top of it, but of course, first I have to fussy cut it. I did a lot of fussy cutting in this layout, um, but not too bad not too bad i don't mind fussy cutting as long it's not um tedious so like i said wasn't too bad for this layout so i just add that blue heart at the top but of course i have to add some adhesive on that back of the photo and hold on first i gotta scratch my head it's so itchy right now okay <clears throat> so i do add that blue heart and i do write on um, it says, who will she choose? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's corny, but like I said, I wanted to make this like a Filipino drama type of layout. And I wanted to add those red chipboard hearts, but they're just so bright. They really are. But I have to add at least one um, because it is part of the kit. But instead, I do add one of those epoxy bubble stickers. And I wanted to use that love, but it was too big, so I decided to use that small heart. And that is it for that card. And the one thing I don't like about this page protector is that all the open sleeves is on the side. So um, I just don't like that. I'm very used to having this, the opening of the sleeve on the top, but that's okay. As long as the layout looks good, it's okay. So this is the 6x6, six six, I mean 6x8, excuse me, and this is the second photo of me and Gian, and I really like how this looks. Um, I just kept it simple, and I decided to put that photo on the far, I mean on the bottom right corner, and just stamped on the far left corner, starring, and then um, our names, using the... Violet's ABC's stamp set from Lawn Fawn because I really like how that font looks. It really gives off a uh, television type of font, if you know what I mean, or a drama type of font. Um, I don't really like how the Al June part, like, it, it's not very clear, but it's okay. You can still see the name, though. So I stamped the bottom of the last two cards with one of the stamp set or stamps on that stamp set. Um, to be honest, I don't really like that stamp set. I'm not very impressed, but of course it's part of the kit, so I have to use one or two. So on vellum, I typed out the synopsis <laughs> or the fake synopsis of the um, fake TV series, supposedly. Um, I don't know if I should read it to you guys. Um, actually, I will put it in the description box if you guys are interested in reading what it says. Um, a lot of grammar errors because I did use my typewriter, but that is okay. 
And I did accidentally put it on the wrong card. I wanted it to be on the left side, but it's okay. Now, this last card, I don't really like how I did this. Of course, I really don't. Oh my god, I hate those pink alpha stickers. I just don't like that color pink. It's a baby pink. I don't like it, but it was part of the kit, so I have to use it. So I just spelled out synopsis, and I do add the journal card of the week. Um, not a lot of journaling, but that's okay. And I do add another epoxy sticker. It says the good life. And then I decide to stamp on top of that because I don't like that negative space. But you don't really see the go part, so I decided to redo it and just glue the redo let's go on top just to cover that up. And I do use another 2x2, two two, and I stamped using the heart, and I finally do add those red chipboard hearts. Um, I really don't like how bright they are, but oh well. <laughs> so... That is pretty much it. I do use my um, tiny attacher, but I did run out, so I had to pause the video to refill my uh, tiny attacher. But that is it for this layout, and I really like how this came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process video, and see you guys next time.